So let's roll that VT. It's like uh, there's a little bit of um, over. You know, they say there's lossless copying um, when it comes to digital. It sounds like that one needs to be <laughs> redone. A little bit of uh, how, how's your father going on with that one? I I'll have to redo that at Vingle, I think. Anyway, here we are. Try something Portuguese today. It's these bad boys. You've seen them in the bar. You might not have tried them. And we're going to do that this morning here on the Good Morning Portugal show. And they'll come in a little tray or a little a saucer like that full of beans to go with. Um, oh, nearly spilt Ceylon on my mixing desk there. So here you go. Close up. That's what they look like. And these in Portugal are traditionally eaten with beer. Now, like a sagrash or a superbog. Um, the important thing with these, and I'll be careful not to drip on the microphone or the desk here, but there's this is a, the rookie error with these. Um, and if you're a bit naughty, you'll let your new visitor to um, the country eat this with the outer skin on. The idea is to pinch the bean, so to speak. <laughs> Who doesn't like to pinch the bean first thing in the morning? And I have I have removed the outer skin, revealing. You see that? What's that called? Um, the little. It looks like a sea creature now, doesn't it? <laughs> and all the best things in life look like sea creatures. Have you noticed? <laughs> um, now the, the little. If it were to germinate, that's the little little foot that comes down, isn't it? There. Now, I'm going to eat it now. Hmm. Uh, Do you see these are preserved in a salt water? Forgive me if you're the sort of person who doesn't like hearing other people eating on TV shows or on the radio. Mmm. Mmm. I love these. I don't think I've ever eaten one at three minutes to nine in the morning. But I would recommend it. Morning, James. He's ready. <laughs> I'm not reading that out. <laughs> what on earth? Don't do that. Well, I've got a bean in my mouth. <laughs> Stop it. Right. We're trying something Portuguese here. Not that you'd necessarily know. And um, if I have a look over at, um, well, I did a podcast on this five years ago nearly, or four years and 11 months ago. And uh, we are looking at, in, in Portugal, it's a tramosos or tramoso bean, which is a lupin bean. Other Mediterraneans call them lupinis, also called lupins. They're sometimes used as a meat substitute because of their abundant amino acid profile, which is comparable to soy, but don't let that put you off. And they are an excellent source of protein. Now, Pete alluded to this. They're high in protein, they're low in carbs, and they're a good source of fiber. And I'm still eating one while I'm talking to you, which is disgusting. It goes against everything my mother ever taught me. Are lupini beans the same as fava beans? I should have eaten a smaller amount. As I do more and more of these try something Portuguese features, I will learn how to do it better and eat and talk at the same time without being too disgusting. Are they the same as fava beans, which some people think? And this is Beach Body On Demand. Well, that's a good website, isn't it? .com. While they look somewhat alike, lupini beans are not fava beans. Their nutritional composition and taste are very different. Lupini beans are silkier in texture. Hmm. Who doesn't like a silky texture first thing in the morning? And boast a more savory taste than fava beans. It's true. Now, the fava bean is the broad bean, isn't it? In British. Um, yeah, and so they, these are definitely much nicer to eat than a pile of broad beans or fava beans when you're sat in a bar. They're also higher in protein, calcium, magnesium, and some fatty acids. So this absolutely gets a thumbs up from me, I've got to say. Trying something Portuguese this morning. It has been the tramoso or the tramosos in plural, um, a variety of beans called sweet lupins contains fewer of the bitter alkaloids and requires less soaking. If you don't eliminate all the bitter compounds, the beans are not only harmful, they'll taste very bitter. So by the time they've got to you in a jar like this, uh, where are we? Let's come back to um, the camera here. Look, they look lovely in their little, they look like a snowstorm, don't they? See, if you wanted to save money at Christmas time, you could tell your kids, grandkids, it's a, it's a Portuguese snowstorm toy, and you can eat it afterwards, which you can't do with a normal Portuguese, <laughs> which you can't do with a normal snowstorm toy. You could put a little a snow, plastic snowman in there, I guess, couldn't you? Um, you're welcome to all this extra added value. But there you go. Look, by the time they've got you in a jar like this, they have been cooked, and then they're soaking in uh, saline there. And these are extra. I've got the... Free range, they're not free range actually, or organic, and that's not focusing very well. But they are the big ones, and that's I think this, this would be my preference. If I'm gonna have a cold beer and a few of these, turns out they're pretty nutritious. 
and helpful. So there you go. Um, the tr I, I um, commend to you, um, try something Portuguese. And that's a good starter, isn't it? Because I have been set some other tasks, <laughs> I can tell you, uh, including um, in this in this new mission of mine. Um, try something Portuguese. What do you recommend or dare me to try? Uh, GMP VIPs, please send me your suggestions. This is over on our GMP VIP platform. Uh, please send me your suggestions for things to try live on the Good Morning Portugal show. I'll be alternating this new feature with the Portugal quiz and would love your help and prompts about what to try. And I've offered to be a food taster, guinea pig and proxy in the front line of Portuguese life and culture. So let me know what Portuguese something you'd like me to try in the comments. You can do that as a YouTube member as well over on the YouTube channel. Now, I've been asked if I'll try Virginia. Thank you. Uh, the Tortas de Guimarães. Uh, thank you. Got to go to Flipping Guimarães to get some of those, I think. Aliera de Mirandela from Antonio, who's here this morning. Not the industrial ones, the real deal. Um, I will at some point do it. You know I will. Um, but that wasn't an easy one to pull off this morning, so to speak. Francesina, I'm up for that. I'm up for eating a Francesina. And I'll have to double up with Mrs. M so that I can get a big mouthful of Francesina and not render myself incapable of running a show. Um, so there you go. Francesina, uh, the Aliera de Mirandela, and Tortas de Guimaraes are the suggestions so far. So thank you very much for those. I will get back to them. But we've got to move on now.